Paul is an expert on knot tying. And one night after a campfire dinner, he did a tutorial for us on knot tying. Wilderness camping requires setting up tops and tents and tying knots and kayaks to the car tops. All necessities require knot tying. There was so, a loop. Yeah. It was this rope that we used exactly, right? And so there's already a, a loop in one end. Okay. Which yeah. you put over the post. Okay. Right? The other end. On the tent. And then this goes on, this end will be on the ground then that you're trying to tie. Wraps, wraps around. So this extends up to the post. This wraps around the stake. Right? Mm. And I use a clove hitch tied back to itself. Right? To do... Um, a slip knot for the stake. That way you can adjust the length of the rope, right? So there's the clove hitch right there, right? Right. And I do a second loop around, right? right. Now what you have here, when this is taut, right? You can adjust the length of your rope, and if you pull on it, it holds because that's a hitch. Uh -huh, right. Right. So I can make the rope longer and the loop smaller, right? So that's that's one use of a clove hitch that I do regularly. Uh, that's it. Do it again. Right? You could almost say a clove <clears throat> hitch is a, is a half hitch, a forward half hitch, and a backward half hitch. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I don't know the, the proper. I know it's a hitch. I don't know that it's actually what they call a clove hitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I know it's a hitch. I just don't know exactly what it is. So that's the, that's the, um, I think that's called the running end of a rope. But to make the hitch, so you got this, your loop. This, this, this is, this is essentially your pole. So right. you can do the same thing here if you want to make a hitch, right? Right. right. So you can do your hitch here like this. All right. Here, let it, let it set. All right. And you come back around. And you come back around. Go under. And through. And there's your hitch. Yeah. So you can see. It just go around the pole, and right. then you around come the pole, you back gotta, around again. You go again. under. You go you, under. You go under it. Around. Around. And then you go back Wait. here. Okay. Right? Yep. And and that's. That's a, just a very basic hitch, mm -hmm. right? That one's not very strong. If you if you do a second loop, which is how I do the um, for the tents, you do a second loop around. Now you've got more strength, right? Right. Right. So it's just it's locking itself back under. Right, right. Right. So the tension brings it back under and locks it. And I do that same when I make that adjustable loop. You're doing exactly the same thing, but you're using the rope itself as the post. Okay. Right. So you take the extra. From so the, so yeah. this this rope, this part of the rope becomes the post. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the, the hitch. So right. you go under. Under. Right. And then you go around under again and back underneath itself and under itself okay. now you've got a hitch and i do a second round for more security right and tighten it up because you want it tight enough on the rope right, right. and then you can pull and that'll hold and that's the adjustable part then because that's there a, we go yeah that's a slip that's a pretty can, cool one yeah. you can slip with that granny knot right you take right. both both ends and run them through right. right and that gives you a loop in the end the downside of that knot mm -hmm. is that it tightens and can be very hard to take apart once you've put a lot of tension on the rope yeah okay so you can do it that way <clears throat> but that knot is hard to undo typically um, we'll see with the rabbit in the hole. Right. Right. So you come out of the hole, around the tree. Right. Back through the back hole. Back through the hole again. Right. Yeah. And so there's your there's your knot, and you you tension it up. You right. pull pull it to undo. 
once you've put a lot of tension on it, right. you can undo this knot. I can't. So that's a standard loop in the end of a rope. You use those all the time. And that's what I use to over the end of the post, yeah. right? Or you use the that loop end <clears throat> around a tree. So you have a tree, yeah. right? You come around and you can pull your, your rope through that loop, right? And that that then secures to the tree. Right. So I do that a lot. Then you've got your secure end, and you bring your other end over. If you want to do a trucker's hitch, you would come around a tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what the trucker's hitch does is it uses compound force. So on this end, you need to create a loop, right? Okay. So you're doing a little slip knot here, right? And okay. the key with this <clears throat> is that you use the end that you're tensioning. Okay. You don't use this end, you use this end to make the loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you just pass it through. And that makes a little loop here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So it comes right out. Right. Right. Make a loop. Put your end through. And now you've got your, this is how you're going to create your compound force. And then you bring your end around the tree. Right. So you pull on this now, right? Right. And so what, what that does is it doubles the amount of pulling force you have. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Okay? And to lock this in place, mm -hmm. right, this is your running end, your loose end, right? You pull on this, and you can pinch this to hold it tight. Yeah. And with this hand, you just bring a loop through. That's tighten, what I was Tighten missing. it up. Right, that's the one. So then when you get ready to leave you just pull yeah. this in and everything comes apart yeah and yet in the meantime that's a very very strong oh thank you yeah carabiners uh -huh. these are not designed to hold a lot of weight <clears throat> but a decent one can hold plenty of weight if you're if you're not depending on safety for the rope if you're just setting up tarps and things right but they, they make a nice, they do a couple of things. It's an, it's an easy um, access. So if you're using, instead of running the knot around, mm -hmm. you can run a carabiner around a tree, okay. right? And that's easier to take off than running through that. Right, that knot, right. right? <clears throat> and the other thing the carabiner does is it gives a nice um, slick surface so you're not wearing your rope. So if you're gonna do a trucker's hitch, I do this quite a bit. Instead of running the rope through this loop, right. I'll put a carabiner on it, right? Oh, okay. And so you don't have to run your rope through that loop again. You can just clip it <clears throat> through the carabiner and that slick surface doesn't wear the rope. What happens with the trucker hitch sometimes is the friction from this rope yeah. will wear on the loop that you make uh. and, and weaken that. But if you use the carabiner, you're not wearing the rope okay. or the loop. And then right? you gotta... And then you can make your truckers hitch the same, the same way, right? That sets it. <clears throat> and then if you wanna secure it to make sure it doesn't come apart, you run a second, just like a hitch. Okay. Right. And that locks it then, that second loop. That second loop is not just a pull anymore, right? So it won't pull out if you if you pull the the rope. Now you have to just under you loop and now it'll pull out. Okay, so let me see how good it's doing. Lesson I am. on the uh, tr trucker's nod hitch here. So I, I, I want to make a loop here. I've got this loop here. I'm going to hold this. Going to come back here around the taut line and pull here. But when I pull, I want to pull up to tighten it. 
And so now when I want to release it, I just pull this and it releases everything. Truck is not. Truck is hitch. Thank you.